What's up guys, Simon from Bravis.com. If you watched my last video, we talked about the Bourne's uh, Absolute Encoder. It's a great encoder, it's very precise. Uh, there's a lot of good things going for it, but one bad thing is that it requires 8 pins to connect to an Arduino. Uh, now that's kind of a lot if you're using an Uno or the Nano. Uh, so today what we're going to do, we're going to look at how to connect the Bourne's encoder using the I2C protocol. And to do that, we're going to use something that's kind of similar to an LCD backpack that we've used before. As you can see, the LCD has a lot of pins, but with the backpack, we only need two because it's using the I2C protocol. So kind of like in the same way, we're going to use this little guy, which is the I an I2C port expander. It has eight pins and it uses the I2C protocol as well. Now, there's not a lot of difference between these two boards, except the pinout is different. But when I tried to use this one, it didn't work. So in the next video, we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about the I2C protocol, the difference between these two guys, and what else we can do with this one. So there you go, guys. That's what we're going to do today. So let's go look at the code, test it out, and then we'll be right back. All right, so here's the code we're going to use today. It's almost identical to the one we've used in the last tutorial. Uh, so I'm only going to point out the differences, and there's not that many of them. So the first one is that we're adding this line here, which defines the I2C address of that little I2C um, expansion board that we just looked at. Now, with all this dip switch down, it gives an address of 20. Now, if you remember, the uh, I2C LCD backpack has an address by default most of the time of 27. Uh, then the other line we need to change is this one here when we uh, define the pins and all that for the encoder. Before we were using direct connections, so the encoder was directly connected to the UNO, so we were defining all the pins here, as you can see. Now we're using I2C, so we're using the address instead of the pins. And the encoder map stays the same. And that's it, that's all we need to change. And it will work with uh, the little board instead and save a lot of connections on the Uno. So uh, let's go upload that and test it out. All right, so I already uploaded the modified code to the Uno right here. Um, I'm gonna go very quickly because this is basically the same setup we just did in the last tutorial, except we're using a lot less pins. We have two for the Easy Driver and two for both the LCD and this little guy here, the I2C expansion board. So this one is set with all the dip switches down to 20, and this one is at address 27. That's the only thing you have to make sure is that they don't share the same address. So basically this guy has all the eight pins connected to the encoder, which were connected to the Uno before. So let's plug it in and see if it works as well. So there you go, this is all the same. And yeah, works the same way. Seems as fast as the other option, so there you go. So if you're gonna get one of these, maybe you wanna get a little guy like this so you don't use up all the pins on the Uno. Uh, but in the next tutorial, we're gonna see that there's another use for these guys as well. So we'll see that next time. So now let's go back to the main camera and wrap things up. All right, so that'll do it for today, guys. Hopefully you found this interesting. At least now you can use a Born encoder without having to use all the pins by using the I2C protocol. Uh, like I said at the beginning, I'm gonna talk a little bit more in depth about the I2C protocol and that little board and what else you can do with it uh, in the next tutorial coming uh, very soon. Uh, like I always say, if you like my videos, please subscribe, like, share, comment, all that cool stuff. And also, if you want more information, you can check out my website. I have the code there and libraries and everything like that available if you want more information. So that was it for me today, and uh, as always, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.